Good morning, it is 7.57, which means it's time to leave this parking lot, which is free until 8. <laughs> okay, you gonna drive us? <laughs> no, okay. Where are we going? We're going across the street. Do you wanna go to the gym? Yeah. Okay. So we spent the last few weeks basically living at my parents' house. And now I need to turn my gym bag back into my gym bag because right now it just has everything that we took into the bathroom, all of our shower stuff, random toiletries and stuff. Um, moving in and out of the van is one of the like more time consuming things. Something we, we didn't realize how much we actually move in when we stay somewhere for a little while, but um, so I'm just turning my gym bag back into my gym bag. Do you know what I didn't miss about van life? Um, what? Shower shoes. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got my towel, I got my toiletry bag, I got my hair dryer, I got my shower shoes. I think we're good. Except someone dropped the, someone knocked the soap dispenser off the wall in the shower and there was just soap and like broken soap dispenser all over the floor. I actually saw that. And then you went to the other one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to try to use that one and I was like, mm, I don't know nice. about this. So the, you were the one that ended up in the other one? Yeah, there's only two. I didn't, well, I know you are about to get in, but. <laughs> I feel like water got in it or sweat or something. It's probably sweat. If you cut my skin, I'm going to scream. Yeah, <laughs> your skin won't cut that easily. I got my arm tattooed. Two days ago, I got this part done. And my second skin is like, ow, I just bumped my fucking head. <laughs> my second skin is like peeling back. And I can't take it off for two more days. So now I'm like, how do we fix this? Yeah, I don't need to go to the gym tomorrow. And then on Friday, I'll take it off. Oh my God, you just pinched me. <laughs> It's really good doing surgery right now. <laughs> I, I think the heater was on in there. It was so hot. It was pretty warm in there. I'm like, this is a gym. It's a nice temperature outside. You want me to cut we don't this, need a heater. You want me to cut this smaller so it's like less overlap? Um, no, it's fine. I think the overlap makes it easier to pull off because it doesn't rip so easily. Okay. Probably the last time too. Did you see that time named Taylor Swift person of the year? I did see that. Mm. Not sure. Hilarious. Okay, we're back in business. Isn't it cute? Look at this little bee obsessed. <laughs> this part's my favorite. Where is it? Here. I basically got a half sleeve plus this little butterfly so that I could see it <laughs> when I have my t shirt on. <laughs> okay, time to go to our next spot, have breakfast, set up the Starlink, and get to work for the day. Oh man, last time we were here, it was like spring. Wow, look how high, oh my gosh. Last time we were here, it was spring, and so sunset wasn't 4.30 p.m. This parking lot's only from dawn to dusk. Oh yeah.
He does look like he's smiling from this angle. All right, it has been a few hours, so it's time to go get our afternoon coffee, as usual. <laughs> um, it has started raining. It was really nice and sunny when I came out of the gym, but now it's raining and cloudy, so we're gonna layer up, and it's like a four minute walk to the uh, coffee shop. And we've been to this coffee shop before, it's really cute. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Are you excited? What? Is she excited? Are you trying to go? I'm trying to get on the floor. I think she's excited. Leah. Yeah. Come here. Are you ready to go for a walk in the rain? Oh, she's shaking bacon. <laughs> Our favorites. <laughs> All right. Ready, Freddy? I'm missing something. Any shoes? Any shoes? Any shoes, yeah. <laughs> me is I don't like a hot drink and I wish I did because it would be a better experience in times like this when it's raining and very cold um, but I just I don't like the aftertaste of a hot drink so Mike is nice and cozy with his peppermint drink and uh, <laughs> I'm gonna freeze my fingers until we get back to the van but I'm used to it by now actually that was kind of a lie I like a hot chocolate I think that's like the only hot drink that I like. I don't like a hot coffee. Have you ever had a hot mocha? It's coffee. Yeah, but it tastes like chocolate. Yeah, I don't know. That's what I'm just, drinking. It's, it's literally just like hot chocolate. I'll, I'll like a hot chocolate, but I don't like the aftertaste of a hot coffee. Um, yeah. There's the fan. This is our shoe pile, our never ending, ever expanding shoe pile until we get sick of it and put them all where they actually go. But it's only day one, so we're not sick of it yet. How many of them are my shoes? <laughs> huh? So how many of them are my shoes? Um, so there's six shoes right there. Four of them are mine. I said it's ours. I didn't say it was yours. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's mostly mine. <laughs> Oh, my sweetie. Loves walks. Does not like getting cleaned up after them. The ice in my drink is already all melted, so I'm gonna... That's the best thing about like having our van with us everywhere is that we have all the kitchen stuff to just like... I don't know. We have our own straws. We have our own ice. Yeah. We have our own oat milk if it's not, you know, creamy enough or whatever. These are my favorite ice cube trays. Will and Molly. Um, introduced these <laughs> trays to me and they're the best because I just squish them like this and they're perfectly like square and flat so you can they stack really easily in the van and they're silicone so oh these are the ones I made this morning whoops that's fine um, they're silicone so they're just really easy to bend and they have lids so they don't spill if the ice isn't all the way frozen yet, which is a problem we were having is we had a regular ice tray with no lid and we couldn't make ice until we were parked for the night um, because we didn't want it to spill, the water to spill everywhere. And then we would forget, I would forget because I'm the one <laughs> that uses ice and it would, uh, I would be pissed in the morning when I didn't have any ice. So, so I only use this many. I don't have enough space in my cup to use the whole tray, but I just fill them back up from our filtered water faucet. 
put the lid on. I usually do this on the counter, but I didn't get the camera angle right, so... Um, and then it goes in the freezer and doesn't make a mess. You ready to have lunch? I am. I was just <laughs> waiting for you to finish that. <laughs> Okay, so we were just talking about the um, shower dispenser incident this morning at, at the gym and how I should have mentioned to the front desk that it was broken on the way out of, out of the gym, but I was just like totally not thinking about it. And then I got an email from Anytime that says, urgent incident report and shower dispenser damage. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, did they think it was me? Um, I'm BCC'd on it because my key fob was like checked in at the gym this morning. Did you get the email? I did not. You might not because we have a... Oh, we don't have a shared membership, huh? No, we have two separate ones, don't we? Oh my god, I'm scared. What if they do think it was me? I mean, you have a video of you walking in there. That's right. I do <laughs> have this video. Dear Anytime members, I hope this finds you well. Writing to inform you about a recent incident that occurred in the shower facilities. During a maintenance check, it was discovered one of the dispensers in the area was broken. The incident likely took place this morning. They were just installed yesterday. We apologize for any inconvenience. We're scheduling repairs to ensure the shower facilities are fully operational. It sounds like they installed them and it fell off the wall. You know what? Uh, in the other shower, I think there's supposed to be three dispensers on each one. Yeah. There's only two on the other one on the other side. I, I think that they're they're just really bad dispensers, and they, that's the second one that's broken in two days. It doesn't say, "Hey, Brittany, you're in trouble." <laughs> so they can't. Oh my god, that was scary. That was like I'd have to ask. That was my, like principal's office. I'd have to ask my attorney wife. <laughs> she thinks that they can prove without a shadow of a doubt. But like, why didn't you get an email? Do you ever get emails from them? Um, not really. <laughs> Spooky. Today is a work day. I do work full time from the road. So this is my bench seat slash office. Um, we have this table on a lagoon swivel mount and I have this external um, portable monitor so that I can work all day. And so a lot of our days look like this, about five of, five of seven days on the road. Um, so there's not a lot of action in this vlog, but this is really just like a realistic day is Spending about eight hours or more right here. In a variety of seating orientations. Sometimes I can sit like this. <laughs> Sometimes I sit like this. But it, it's uh, it's been interesting figuring out how to support my back. I have nice um, pillows to help with that because sitting on this seat for eight hours plus every day, it's, uh, it's hard on my legs and my back sometimes. Yeah. So it's about dusk, huh? Yep, it's about time to go. Where I mean, there's about go? five other cars here, but... Okay. So we'll probably find somewhere else to make dinner, and then... We'll park at Safeway for a couple hours. Yeah, and then when it's 8 o'clock, we'll head back over to our camp spot for the night. So we just had dinner, Mike cleaned up, did the dishes while I finished up some work. We fed Leah and now Mike's taking her out on her last walk of the day. It's a little after 8.30 so we came to our camp spot for the night um, and this is a parking lot that's free until from 8 to 8 so until 8 tomorrow morning and then we're gonna get up and do all of this again. <laughs> um, I would say this is a pretty typical day of when we're camping in cities. Um, when there's like a gym, a Starbucks, a grocery store, like that's kind of the places that we hang out, maybe a park, um, during the week when I'm working, we really just like wake up, go to the gym, find somewhere to work for the day and then like have dinner 
watch some YouTube TV, something like that. It's really, it looks really different when we're camped out on like National Forest Service land or something like that. Um, we don't move the van so much. Sometimes we don't move the van for like days at a time. And that's nice because we can really like settle in one place. We don't have to take the table up and down and move the chairs and put the Starlink up and down, things like that. So um, it just varies depending on where we're camped. Mike and Leah are back. Would you say this is a pretty typical city day, city camping day? Yeah. Yeah. Really, we just try to find a place where we're not going to get kicked out of. <laughs> that has bathrooms. And uh, no one's going to bother us. Yeah. I actually forgot to mention at the beginning of this video, you can tell I'm out of practice. Um, <laughs> in the whole kind of point of why we're making this video is that we spent the last like three or so weeks at my parents' house. And so we weren't living out of the van. And so this video is sort of us getting back into our routine of getting up in the morning at the time we want to get up at, um, going to the gym before work, doing, cause everything just takes a little bit longer when, especially when we're in a city, you can tell like we have to drive to leave our camp spot to go to the gym and then we have to drive somewhere else to work for the day and stuff like that. So, um, just getting back into that routine and being as efficient as we can be when we're moving around all the time. Yeah, I'm really happy with how today went. We got our workout in, I got my work done. Um, got to see a sunset on the beach, on the ocean. It's pretty cool. Had my favorite dinner. <laughs> and now we're going to sleep with the ocean waves. Well, I wear earplugs, so I won't hear the ocean waves, but Mike and Leah will I hear will the ocean enjoy waves. I the ocean waves all night. Well, when I can hear them, when I'm awake. I can't hear the ocean waves, but I also can't hear when someone like pulls up next to us and starts like blasting their music, so. Yeah. Which does happen, which happened last night. Yeah. Before we went to sleep. Okay. You ready for Betty? How was your day? My day was... You're on... not. I know. You look like one of the parents from the Fairly Odd Parents. When you're... <laughs> 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 My day was uneventful. And that's fine. Sometimes that's all you can ask for. That's the reality of van life. A lot of days is hanging out, doing what you do at home, but in a smaller space <laughs> until you can do something fun on the weekends. a smaller space somewhere that you don't actually live. <laughs> You're just hanging out. Yep. That's it. Yeah. A lot of it is this during the week and then we go do something fun on the weekends, like go see our friends or when we were camping with Will and Molly, we'd go to national parks over the weekend, things like that. So, this is a normal, boring van life day. <laughs> <laughs> Leah, how was your day? High five. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, I'm gonna start getting ready for bed, but I'm not gonna make you watch me floss my teeth and all that stuff, so. Mm -hmm.